Well, guys and gals, you can see how much rain we had. Just about an inch and a half. And I'm going to show you the effects that that rain had on my garage. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The garage is dry inside. Yes, it is. And uh, you saw the rain that was coming down yesterday. And now you can see the, the grass even better. Now the water has set back. I'm a happy camper. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on my uh, snow blower that I picked up yesterday. You saw in the video that I posted yesterday that this indeed was an updated engine on it. it originally had a 7 horsepower. As you can see, it's an AMF Polar Bear, 7 horsepower, 26 inch deep bite. You can tell this is an older one because for some reason most of the newer ones don't have what they call um, the Drift Buster, which is that top row of gears up here. You know what I mean? And uh, they actually do the job, although I can see this one here isn't doing the job much because it's seized right up and somebody took the chain off of it quite a long time ago. Yep, sure enough. Yeah, well, you'll have that. I'm liking the looks of this steering box. Boy, oh boy. Of course, it's been used quite a bit over the years. And it has some play in it, but I wonder if you can adjust some of that play out of it. And what I like about this, better than the one I have on the Goofy Cart now, is it has two different drain plugs. Plus it's got an extra mounting point up here and it has a long shaft support back in there. See that? I'm way back in there. Hmm. So if I don't fix this snow blower, which I'm kind of planning that I will, this this is gonna an in and out for the clutch here. I'm going to have to do some investigation on this thing. But let me show you how it runs. Runs pretty good, wouldn't you say? Just started right up, first pull. So, yep, I get a lot of investigation to do because it doesn't drive at all. And uh, I gotta check some things over and see what's what. So, I think I'm gonna move my car out of the garage because it's starting to sprinkle again. And uh, we'll take this inside. And I think we will also take our lawnmower inside and do a little bit of tinkering. Hold on to your hats, because here we go. Okay, so I wasn't going to work on this anymore today, but I was curious. And uh, no, it didn't have the back cover on it. That's missing. Um, and I was looking in here and tinkering around, and I noticed that the drive tire looked pretty good. And the disc is clean, which means that was been rubbing against it. But there was nothing happening with the wheels when the other thing was engaged. 
and then I started looking and you see that bolt down in there yeah that one right there see it that was missing that's a shear bolt so that instead of snapping a chain or snapping an axle it'll break that off and yeah I think that's all that's wrong with this machine I mean other than it's got a lot of sloppiness and but you saw how well it ran and if I had to I could even steal a carburetor off of this to put on my riding mower but I'm not going to do that so I'm going to take this down and fire it up and see if it will work now okay let's see what happens I think this actually works in reverse from most modern snow blowers in that modern snow blowers you squeeze the handles to make it go see that handle there but and like my snow blower that I have here it has one that you squeeze to go and another one to engage the auger this one I think the auger is probably engaged all of the time I don't know that but we'll find out soon enough and maybe what I should do is move you out front so you can see what happens and I can see what happens and we'll learn how this thing works together you gotta start it neutral Okay, so I think I just learned something. I think that the clutch uh, lever right there, see that lever Whoop. right there? I think that's what engages the auger. We'll find that out shortly. I have it disengaged right now. I think I need to in, in, uh, adjust the clutch on the handle. It seems to be slipping pretty bad and, it, and the more I push down on it, the better it works. So I'm gonna adjust that and I'll bring you back. Okay, I adjusted the clutch lever and I cleaned off the disc. And let's see what happens. call that a successful fix and now I gotta decide what I'm gonna do There's a lot of good parts on there I could use on my next project sprockets and axles and chains and uh, levers and pulleys 
and a great motor. But now I have a functioning snowball. Oh, not to mention the the uh, auger drive. I don't know. Now I'm caught between the two. I'll have to decide what I'm going to do. Maybe I should call the guy that gave it to me and ask him if he wanted it back for, you know, 50 bucks. I get about enough time into it. No materials other than a bolt and some uh, chemicals, you know. We could even fix that upper uh, snowbank uh, auger. Just get it loosened up and put a chain on it. I don't know. We'll think about it. But anyway, we got it fixed and it's running and working. And yeah, it, it'll pull me along and it'll push me backwards. So that's all you got to do in the snow. And, and in the snow, you don't have to push into it hard anyway. It doesn't want it to go too hard. Um, because you end up stalling your machine and just getting it clogged up. But it works pretty good, I'd say, for an oldie but a goodie and with a newer motor on it. Yep. So we'll see what happens. We'll think about it. And uh, I'll let you know what I decide. Till next time, this is George, the, sh oh, the Shade Tree Fix-It fan. And look what's happened. Look what has happened. The sky has cleared. We got sunshine again. And I got shade under my shade tree. Look at that. Woo-hoo-hoo. You gotta love it. Yes, three Bob. Love the rain, but I love the sun. Yep. Till next time. Bye for now.